all of this is my office in a bag and it all fits into this. This is my travel office in a bag and everything you saw there fits into this bag. So let's get to what I put in my travel office in a bag. How many of you travel for work? How many of you think this looks pretty familiar? You have a lot of these gadgets with you. Well, you might not have all of these gadgets with you, but I'm gonna show you some gadgets today that might make your work travel situation, desk setup wherever you're going to be, a little bit easier, a little bit nicer to work with. I have some cool gadgets I wanna show you that might wanna accompany you on your next work travel adventure. done when I'm traveling is sometimes can be a little challenging but I have done this for 20 years and actually over 20 years and I found some things that have been really useful to me that have just made it a little bit easier for me to work to communicate to do zoom calls all those things so let me show you some of those things I found and see if there's something you want to add to your work travel portfolio when I'm traveling for work it seems like the heaviest part of everything that I take are things like my computer and my iPad and you know my little travel office here. But sometimes I need these things because I'm gonna be away a long time or they just make it a lot more convenient for me to be able to work on the road. So I wanted to go over everything that I keep in this little bag that allows me to have an office on the road. For me, having an office on the road means I want everything to be as organized as possible and within easy reach. I don't necessarily want to be digging through a bunch of bags to get what I need because normally with work it's just I need to be organized and be able to get to things. This bag allows me to do that. This is by Tripped. Um, I love this canvas bag. It is water resistant and I love the zippers on it too. It's also water resistant on these zippers. Um, it also has these little leather straps which make it really easy for me to pull open and close the zippers and a nice carry handle here so if I wanted to hang it on something I could do that. This is great for electronics. It's also great for toiletries. It can make a great dot bag for someone who needs that. But I use it specifically for my office in a bag because it's nice and compact. But let me show you how I organize everything in here so I can get everything you saw on the table into this. I love that these zippers are water, pretty much waterproof. I mean, if you dump, you're not gonna dump it in the ocean, but if something spilled on this, it's gonna keep it waterproof. This little zipper in the front is great for some small things. I actually have my little, I carry extra of these little ties and stuff for cords. And sometimes I carry post-it notes, but obviously I'm out of those in here right now. Let's get into the main compartment of the bag. And as you can see here, it has a lot of organization. And I love that about this bag because I need everything to be really organized. All right, we're gonna start off with this. And let me move this aside for a minute. This is a bag that I can fit my iPad in. That way, if I'm on my trip and I decide, hey, I wanna watch a movie, I don't wanna necessarily be looking down, I'm going to put my iPad in this little um, bag right here. So it's still able to be used. I can still touch screen my iPad and things like that on here. There we go. This way, when I'm on the plane, I will hang it on the little uh, notch that puts your tray table up. Now, it comes with this little ribbon thing here, but it's too thick for, for most airplanes for me. So I used a little p piece of cord. So that way when it's hanging, it'll hang nicely. And that way I don't have to be looking down at a keyboard. It'll hang it on the seat in front of me and allow me to watch it nicely right from here. It also protects my iPad. So if I decided to go to the bathroom or whatever, or I'm done watching it, I can slip my iPad into the seat pocket in front of me. It'll protect my iPad from whatever happens to be in there. And then I can just wipe this clean and that way I don't have to worry about it getting all over my iPad. It also has a couple pockets in the back here that allow me to put some things like cords or earphones and things like that in here. So this is a great thing to have. And um, again, it's a little bit, a uh, little bit of material here that gives it a little bit of protection, but um, this way, if you need to use your iPad, you can use it through here, or you wanna hang it and watch something, this is a great thing to have. The next thing I have in here is a tiny little tape dispenser. I mean, I don't use this very often, but I've, and I've had this for years, but it's just something I've always carried is this tiny little tape dispenser and a tiny little pair of scissors. And yes, folks, you are allowed to bring 
scissors onto the plane with you. What they do is they measure from the fulcrum here to the point, and as long as it's within their uh, guidelines, you can bring a pair of scissors with you. I also use these when I'm doing crochet sometimes, so always nice to have a little pair of scissors. And that, of course, this is a little pocket that I, I had it open, but this is all the stuff that's in that little pocket. I carry a permanent marker with a little bit of painter's tape on it because painter's tape is good for so many things like blocking out a peephole or covering up some one of those annoying LED lights. And a permanent marker is always great to have and a highlighter. Again, if I'm doing something and I need to highlight, always great to have that. I also have a tiny little tape measure. Because I used to work in a factory a lot, I always was doing things to measure, but it also is great to measure if something's going to fit into your luggage and things like that. So a tiny little tape measure, and that's all in this little zipper pocket back here. In this pocket, this uh, big pocket area here you can see is my stand. This is my laptop stand that I put my laptop on, so if I'm doing something like a Zoom call, this just pops up and then I'm able to set my computer up. This is so when I'm on a Zoom call, I'm not looking down, it's looking directly at me. I also keep one of these little sliders here to block off my camera. So if I don't want someone spying on me that's hacked into my computer, this will allow me to close that off. But anyway, this little stand right here is great. It, as you see, it was able to hold up my computer, but it also folds completely flat, just like this. And it comes with its own little case. I don't know what I did with it. But anyway, it has a little case to keep it in, and all of that, folks, fits right into my little tripped travel electronics bag. Um, the next thing I have in here, let's just go as a cord. This cord goes with me everywhere I go. It's USB-A and USB-C right here, so I can plug it into different outlets, and it has three heads on it. It has a lightning, a micro and a USB-C cord so I can charge three things at once and it's a uh, three foot cord. It allows me to get to things. If it's being plugged in, I can still use them. This is um, my earphones and all the different attachments. So this allows me to um, be able to use it on an airplane. So if I want to use my headset on an airplane, I can. And these are just different attachment cords for my computer versus my phone. So that way, if I'm on a conference call, I have a way to plug in. Let's go with this first. Is there anything else in here? Okay, no, this is a flat plug. I don't know how many times I go to somewhere and I can't get a plug in behind a headboard or behind a piece of furniture. This folds out. It allows me to plug in and it has USB-A and USB-C. All right, this next thing is one of my favorite new finds. This has, well, let's start with this. This will allow me to put this up and open this up and use it as a phone stand to put my phone in. But when you look inside here, it has this cord and this cord allows me to have USB-C to USB-C, but it also has these little heads so I can put it into lightning or even into micro and even into USB-A right here. And it also has a little pin here if I need to take out a SIM card. So this is really my all-in-one charging station. This allows me to charge almost anything. I know I have that other cord, but as you can see, this cord is pretty short. So it's great to use, it's great to use on the plane, but not necessarily if you're gonna be in a bedroom where you might have to you know, be reaching somewhere. This is great for using on the plane if I need to get to some charging really quickly in this tiny little format. And this little area here is if you do have to change your SIM card out, you can store your SIM card in here and it, mag it just kind of automatically closes and keeps it closed. So it's just a, a multi-purpose thing. I love this thing. I also have my battery, which is USB-C and USB-A. This will charge my phone two or three times and it'll charge my iPad as well. So I love that. And this is a tiny little light that's a book light. You can see it bends here. It has just two light modes, but when I'm on a plane and I'm trying to get some work done and I don't want that overhead light necessarily on, this is a great light to have. It lights up the keyboard, lights up my little tray table, but doesn't necessarily glare light around everybody around me. Again, it's rechargeable as well. Um, this is actually USB-C rechargeable, 
bendable. I can use it for a book. I can use it for a Kindle. I can use it for a laptop. I can use it for my iPad. I can even use it for my phone or even just putting on that little um, part of your head, uh, the seat in front of you, if you just want to kind of light the area around you and not have a big light overhead shining on you, this is a great light. And of course, when I get to my destination, I have this light. This acts as my table light. So if I need to be doing some work, this is this skinny and this flat, and it pops up into this light. This is a great lamp. I can have it fold completely flat like this. It has a couple of different light modes to it. So it's off, low, medium, high. And again, it comes up into this position so I can angle it into any position I want here on my desk to get me light. I've also used it as a selfie light when I've had Zoom calls or something. So that way I can get a nice amount of light. And again, I can do it low, medium or high. And as you saw, it folds down into a completely compact, tiny, slim little format here. So this is something I've been using for like 25 years. It's USB-C or my, I think it's micro USB rechargeable. This is an older one. They might be USB-C now, but mine's a little bit older, but it's rechargeable, a great thing to have. What I have in here is my uh, iWatch charger. So that way um, I can just plug this into here and plug this into the wall and it'll charge my iWatch for me without having a bunch of cords. So it's a nice little thing to have to keep it really compact. And is that everything? I think that's everything that I have in this tripped um, electronics organizer. Again, one of my favorites. It's just nice and compact and keeps all of this in there for me. This cover that I use for my computer is wonderful. It's a plastic, so it's going to protect my computer. It has a top and a bottom. The bottom has ventilation and feet. And then the top is obviously it just snaps right onto my computer here. You'll see that they just are covers that snap on, but they give my computer some protection so that if I'm out and about and it's bouncing around, instead of having a sleeve, I really like having this. You can put a sleeve on top of it as well, but I've been traveling with it just like this for years and I've not had a problem. It comes in a variety of different um, colors and designs. This is just one that I like, but you know, this is something if you want to protect your computer, this is a great way to do it. It doesn't add a lot of bulk. I love that. My iPad is something I use all the time, especially when I'm on a plane. It's just easier for me to take out and use. Um, it's in a small format here, but it has this special keyboard slash cover. It allows me to adjust the iPad in different angles. It allows me to use this as a keyboard and a mouse. It also has a protective cover. So this covers the whole thing and it gives me some nice protection for my actual iPad. So these things help reduce the bulk in my uh, travel work backpack. Not necessarily weight, this, with the keyboard and this, it's not necessarily, you know, very light, but if I had to carry a cover and a keyboard, it's probably lighter. This is just a lot more convenient for me, opens up easily. And then again, this, this keyboard helps really protect my screen. So I've actually had this drop and my screen was perfectly fine with this. So these things protect and also take out some of the bulk. And one of the last things that I occasionally carry, depending on the trip that I'm going on, is a little printer just like this. This is a thermal printer. It does not require any ink. So it's really only gonna print black and white, but for most of the time, that's what I'm printing. So it'll come out in paper like this, um, which is thermal paper. They make it in two different types, something that is darker ink and something that will last longer. For those of you who've used thermal paper before, you'll know that Sometimes the ink starts to fade on things or it gets wet. So they have special paper if you need something that's gonna last a little longer. But if you don't and you just want something, you can see it prints out pretty well. This opens up and then you just fit a small roll of thermal paper in here, close it back up and it will print right from here. It's also USB-C rechargeable. So if it's something that you actually had to use on the plane, you could probably just pull this out and put it right on your tray table and print something out right from your computer, your laptop, or your phone, or your tablet. And like I said, it's already charged up. You don't have to worry about plugging it in. It's small and compact. It fits into the bottom of my um, travel work backpack nice and easy. 
and like I said, it's great for what I need, which is just printing out, you know, things like this that are black and white. Well, I hope you got some great hacks and ideas or gadgets for your next work travel adventure that might make things a little bit easier for you when you're working and traveling. And if you have some great hacks or gadgets that you wanna share with us, put those in the comments below because I'd like to know, and I think everybody in this community would like to know how we can make our work travel life a little bit easier. Now, I will leave links to all of these things in the video description that links to my Amazon storefront where I get a tiny little commission for everything I sell at no additional cost to you. So if you could use those links, I truly appreciate it because it does help support my channel. Until the next time, guys, thank you for watching and juice life, drink the joy, keep life simple. Don't let those work travel adventures get you in a bind. Get yourself some great things to make it easier. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.